Hi, it's Mrs. Greasock again, and I'm going to show you how to start coloring your self-portrait, the bright colored pop art self-portrait that we're doing. Hopefully you have already traced every single shape in your face and numbered them all. So if you look closely at this area, you can see that this area is fully numbered. Um, and notice that every single shape, even the tiniest shapes, I took a very sharp pencil and actually wrote the number inside there. Um, and you can figure out what the number should be. Check your area that you numbered first over here, the area that you can tell, you know, by looking at this scale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, usually there's a place, some place on your photo that has that scale. And then when you're looking over here to see, oh, what number should that be? Hmm, what does it look like over here? Or you can also say, well, I know for sure that's a white, so that has to be a one, that's probably a two, that's probably a three, four, et cetera. And then you can kind of figure out what these little ones are by seeing which one do they look most like, which one does it match, and then um, write the number in. But every single one of your shapes needs to have a number before you start coloring, okay? Um, and then the other day, we took some time to make our value scales. Hopefully you kept only your good value scale so that you can tell exactly what color goes on which number, right? This is your key um, and it's the thing that is really, really important for you. Now what I did with my colored pencils is I put little stickers on them with their numbers. That way I could keep them straight. And you noticed also that I kept them in a little baggie too because that um, keeps them all together and separated from my, the rest of my colored pencils, especially if you don't number them. So um, I just took some little labels and stuck it around the end, wrote the number seven on there, wrote the numbers for all of them, and so it's gonna be really easy for me to um, pick up a number and then start with that. I wanna tell you guys right now that you will be much happier and you'll have a greater success rate if you start with your number ones and do all of your number ones first, then do all of your number twos, then do all of your number threes for a couple of reasons. First of all, when you're coloring, um, especially the ones, twos, and threes, maybe even the fours as well, you need to erase <laughs> this pencil mark that you put in here. Um, you gotta get rid of that graphite because if you took your yellow colored pencil, which for me is my number one, and you colored over top of that graphite, you know, pencil line that we drew there, it's gonna show. It's gonna smear, it's gonna show, and it's gonna look bad. And we do not want it to look bad, we want it to look nice. We want it to look like a work of art when we're finished. So the most important thing is to erase as you go. And um, don't erase them all at once, only erase the one that you're working on, okay? I have some kids who are like, well, then I don't know where all my shapes are. Well, if you do it one at a time, you certainly can um, figure out where the shape is because you can still see it when you erase it, okay? So, so that's the most important thing. Start with your number ones, erase your outline and your number before you color it. Um, the other thing is, if you haven't already untaped your your original photo from your from your artwork, that's probably a good idea to do at this point. Um, for those of you who are using my graphite um, piece of paper to trace, get rid of that thing. Get it out of there. It is messy. It's going to ruin your artwork. Um, the only thing it was good for is tracing. That's it. Get rid of that thing. Um, put it someplace else in your in the back of your sketchbook or something, but keep it away from your photo. If you are the kind of person who um, didn't have my thing and if you scribbled on the back like this to trace, um, then you need to keep this away from your final copy. Put a piece of paper or something over top of your final copy artwork so that that graphite doesn't get all over this while you're working, okay? That's super, 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 super important. Um, the other thing that's helpful about having this separate is that you can, while you're working on an area, um, you know, you're working over here, you can have this handy to check and make sure that you have it numbered correctly, okay? So, yeah. All right, let me just um, color a few of these shapes for you so you can see how it looks, right? So here is my, as far zoomed in as I can get, sorry about the wiggle. 
Okay, I'm gonna take my eraser that has the good, uh, my pencil that has the good eraser on it. I'm gonna start with that number one shape right there. Okay, I'm gonna start right kind of on her chin. I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm going to erase the entire thing. Okay, now watch what happens when I do this erasing. Well, first of all, I need to clean this eraser because it's smudging. Let me use a different part of it. Um, I'm only gonna do one shape at a time. I wanna get it to be pretty clean. But look, you can still see where that shape is, okay? You can remember it long enough to, to color. Now I'm going to take my colored pencil. I'm going to press down as hard as I possibly can. This pencil needs to be sharpened. And hopefully, you know, if you get some of those little, so you see what happened is I didn't brush away my eraser shavings quite good enough. And so there's a dark spot right there. Um, try to avoid that if you can. Um, Cause yeah, that's not gonna be good for your final. Let's see, where's my number two? My number two is this peachy color. So I'm gonna take this, erase that number two. Oh wait, remember what I said? Do all your ones first. I'll write that number two right back in there. Let's go to this number one. And erase the outline. Erase the number. Make sure everything's gone. And First thing you can do is retrace your shape before you forget what the shape was, right? You can also always look back onto this to see what it was, if you really can't see it. Push down as hard as you can. You want this to be nice and solidly filled in. You don't want any pencil lines to show. You want it to look good right and once you get all the ones done and then you go to the twos it's going to be it's going to get easier and easier as you go okay because you'll have the, the the ones already colored in and then the twos usually go around the ones and then the threes and then so on um so it's going to get easier as you go but yeah you need to erase and then color as hard as you can once you get to the darker colors Try it on a piece of scrap paper. Draw some marks with a pencil and color over it with this dark color and see what happens. If it doesn't smear and you can't see it after you color over it, then there is a certain point where you can stop erasing. But um, one of the things you're gonna be graded on is can you see your pencil lines and can you see your numbers through your coloring? Your coloring needs to be smooth, it needs to be perfect, it needs to be solid, it needs to be neat. So those are the things you need to focus on um, while you're working on your portraits. So there you can see two shapes have been colored in on this one. And um, it's gonna look kind of weird at first, especially if you follow my rules where you do all the ones and then you do all the twos and you do all the threes. It's gonna look kind of weird um, until you get to the very, very end because the spaces that are left are white. You know, you haven't colored the dark ones in and they're supposed to be black. So when you have all these dark areas that are still white, it, it does kind of look weird. Trust me, it's okay. Just wait to the end to do your darks. Don't do your darks first because the darks tend to smear into the light ones and that's what causes issues. So yeah, have fun coloring.